Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tony Questions and for the amazing iPad website and I'm doing a recorded thing with the application called Display Recorder or Display Record something like that anyway so let's just change to a different application and uh, see what we can do with this and we'll go to Tweetbot I found out with this with another test I was doing that I can't go to an audio application and continue recording because if I do it buggers up the recording completely I'm also finding that if I want to do a recording of this then Applications like this one, Tweetbot, does take longer to do anything, so there you go, it's just crashed as well. So let's try something else. Let's go instead to Byword, which is my text editor of choice on here. At the moment I'm showing a preview of some markdown text. I'll click on Dismiss and we'll go back to this here. And I can actually do some work with this there now, so let's put the cursor in there. And my keyboard just come up, lovely. And it's telling me that I've got 1,011 words in that. As you can see, I can move that across there so I can see more things in there. And click on Return. And now I can put in stuff like, uh, well, I can do a tab. And then I can do these sort of uh, things here, which are quite good. And if you notice, I actually clicked on that button there. And, uh, well, I clicked on it. It put in the left bracket first of all and then the right bracket afterwards. It actually knows that I'm doing a completion of a two pair of brackets there so that's quite good I can go across even further on this here as well if I want to let's click on return and because I'm doing this with uh, some markdown I want to click on for a header so actually I want to want to have two of those so that's going to be a second level header and that's good okay so I could uh, also do something this here let's select this select and I'm going to tell it to do a link and what this does it puts an inline link in there when I'm doing the HTML personally I prefer to do the uh, type of links where I have a link at the end of the document and a reference to it within the text it just makes it easier for reading but that's okay we can do it this way this time basically what I'm going to do is here okay it's kind of locked up a little bit there it's supposed to be working but it's not and I think it's because there's this display recorder thing working at the same time as the application it normally works better than this also I haven't got enough firepower in this version of the iPad to do what I need to do but at least we are doing some recording okay so there you go that's kind of how this thing works and let's do a view of this in Markdown let's try and get in the keyboard eye first of all then press that preview markdown took a little while to come up there and you can see that at the bottom of this here we've got the link and that's the link there and I can either open it or copy it on that so there you go this is a little bit of a test of display rec which is on the iPad it didn't cost much to buy I'm sure it was only a couple of euros and it looks like it works and uh, if you like uh, display recorder you can perhaps even get it for yourself or display rec as it's called if it works well enough um, good and well, good and proper. I think it's going to work even better when I get the uh, iPad 3. And when I do get the iPad 3, what I'm going to be doing there is doing the uh, streaming of the iPad video onto the iMac. And then I'm going to do a recording with ScreenFlow. To do the streaming, I'll be using probably the application called Reflections. So there you go, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tony Questions and for the amazing iPad. Don't forget to click on the like button on this video. And if you subscribe, then anytime I put a new video up there, you're going to be the first to know about it. So go and subscribe now. Bye-bye now.